Last season was a good one. The game's on the up and up. This year, it'll be even better. True, we've lost some giants. They were a credit to the game. But we've also found some young'uns. They promise to be the same. That's what the big game's all about. It happens every year. We lose a few of our heroes, but find others who know. against the champions welcome to a sunny and well-filled Douglas Bowl for the third Oakles Brewery Rugby League Charity Shield game. This game something of a needle match with both Halifax and Wigan having won it once. Wigan beat Hull Kingston Rovers in the inaugural Charity Shield and Halifax beat Castleford last year. It's estimated that between four and five thousand fans have made the trip from the mainland. The vast majority from from Hall and Central Park. There are supporters here from throughout the rugby league game, and it goes without saying that during the weekend, these fans have mixed happily, behaved well, and endorsed the welcoming banners in Douglas, which say, Welcome to the world's best behaved supporters. St Helens in that cliffhanger thriller at Wembley without Chris Anderson now concentrating on coaching Keith Neller and Colin Whitfield but they have a powerful squad reinforced by the return of Paul Dixon from Australia and taking Anderson's place at Stanhorf is Andy Simpson a Castleford lad who's had a couple of first team games and actually made his debut against Wigan last season and on the wing is Mike Taylor signed from Oldham
Wigan, the champions who broke both scoring and defensive records last season, are without last season's leading try scorer Ellery Hanley. He has a calf injury, and they've got a former Colt Ian Gildart taking his place. Centre is Jed Byrne, the Salford player registered with Wigan, was subject to a fee tribunal. The referee this afternoon is John Holdsworth of Leeds, and with a big, noisy, and cheerful crowd, a fine atmosphere in the Douglas Bowl as the teams prepare to line up for the ceremonial before the start of the 1987 Ockles Brewery Rugby League Charity Shield. Ladies and gentlemen, the teams will now be presented to His Worship the Mayor of Douglas, Councillor Mr Hill, who is accompanied onto the playing field this afternoon by Mr Bob Ashby, Chairman of the Rugby Football League, Mr David Oxley, Secretary General, and the Chairman of Hawkins Brewery, Mr John Cowley. The ceremonial stage is the Mayor of Douglas and various Rugby League officials meet First, the Halifax players. Stan Aykroyd, the chairman of Halifax on the extreme left. And little Gary Stevens, the first in line. It's been a great success, this Charity Shield, in the three years of its existence. Good crowds. And, of course, it makes a splendid weekend, not merely for the players and the officials, but also for the fans. They come over to this lovely holiday island, have a good weekend in the sun, hopefully, and it's uh, certainly well, with us today. Well, the being presented right here once again, just give the changes to the official programme. For Halifax, number three, Tony Anderson. Number four, Scott Wilson. Number, five, number six is Andy Simpson. At number eight, Roy Dickinson. Number nine, John Pendlebury. Number ten, Graham Beavers. Number eleven, Neil James. And at number thirteen, Paul Dixon. The reserve back at fourteen, Brian Julie. The reserve forward at fifteen, Peter Bell. And the changes to Wigan, number three, Jed Byrne, number eight, Graham West, number 11, Ian Gillett, number 13, Andy Goodway, the reserve back at 14, Richard Russell, the reserve forward at 15, Sean Wayne. This counts as one of the major trophies in rugby league, although it's only three years old. But of course, its great value is that uh, the two sides obviously both will have ambitions on more trophies this season. It's a great workout for them. And the last two have proved that it's also a very competitive game. The first year, Wigan thrashed Hull Kingston Rovers very comprehensively by a score of more than 30 points. Much tighter last year, Neil Haig drop goal, winning it for Halifax. So the presentation's over, and very quickly now, on with the 1987 Orphans Charity Shield. And just to remind you that the winner this afternoon goes away from the island with a cheque for £5,000 and, of course, that coveted O'Connell's Charity Shield trophy. As you may have heard over the public arrest system, £5,000 for the winners. And the trophy. The team's changing round, so 
Halifax. The Silk Cut Challenge Cup holders will play from right to left in their blue and white hoops. The Cherry and Whites of Wigan, the champions, plus three other trophies, playing from left to right. And it's Halifax who kick off. Young Gildart taking the place of Ellery Hanley gets into the action straight away. Brian Case. Case, the supporters' player of the season last year. Penalty to Wigan. Offside rule by referee John Holdsworth is David Stevenson, who was in dispute with the club a few weeks ago, but sorted matters out now. <laughs> Wigan, of course, have such a wealth of talent at Central Park, they can afford to release the two South Africans, Ray Mort and Rob Lowe. And Halifax, despite being without Nella, and Whitfield and Chris Anderson, of course, now retired from the player part of being player coach. They've also got a very strong squad. Two sides we'll hear a lot of this season. Gregory gets it out to Edwards. Hampson coming up in the line. Edwards, Gregory, Gildart. That's Gregory. West moves it short. Good way. That's Jed Byrne. Kiss at the play the ball. Stevenson. Manages to lose it. Case Edwards. Wigan still moving it about with Case. Well, that could be six more tackles. No, John Holdsworth doesn't appear to have wiped the slate clean. Gildart. Last tackle. Gregory. Gregory the high bomb. And it will be played from the 22 metre line. This rule now in force this season from the catch behind the line. Mike Taylor. A bit of wriggling by Mike Taylor. Gary Stevens is the acting halfback. Graham Beavers. Pendlebury playing as hooker today. Paul Dixon. Typically a powerful run. Unorthodox play the ball, but it's all right. Scott. And that's young Simpson at uh, standoff. Scott Wilson with the kick. Play on, says Mr. Holdsworth. It went behind him. Henderson Gill. Typical Henderson Gill run. In and out, everywhere. That's Sean Edwards. Oh, Edwards going a great sweep. This could be the first try to Edwards. That's it.
David Stevenson shapes to take the kick. It's over. We're going to take a 6 0 lead. Just six minutes of this game gone. Well, Halifax, not always the best of starters, but a side quite capable of hitting back. Pendlebury restarts. Gregory. Straight out to Hampson. Potter. Good way. Oh, that's a nice dummy. Nicky Kiss, typical hooker's dummy. Edwards, a kick for touch. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Slide rule stuffed that. Just inside the corner flag. It's a bit of an untidy scrum, that one. John Hulls was getting right down. And it's Wigan. Almost there, foot from the line. Gregory. Gregory deciding to go himself, throws it left. Coming right now. Potter. Edwards. The long one. Bell. And, well, what's he given there? He might have allowed the advantage rule there, but John Hulls was right on the spot. Awards of scrum. The Wigan fans, I think, waiting for advantage since the ball was knocked down by a defender. Chad Byrne, the man who went over. But it's still in a dangerous position. a penalty to Halifax so that's merciful relief for them they're under a lot of pressure they're 6-0 down Graham Eady has been persuaded to come back out of retirement yet again by David Rook the Halifax president walloping that into touch Stevens to Dickinson Forward, who might well be said to be in the veteran stage now, a lot of years experience with Leeds. The younger forward, Graham Beavers. Yet another penalty, not letting him play the ball. Nicky Kiss, I think, the offender. Graham Eady. That's a good one. It sets up what could be Halifax's first real attack. Stevens. Up comes Dickinson. That's Beavers. That's the second drive towards the line. The threes. Can expect to come into it. Oh, Stevens, no play on, says the referee. That's Scott. Pendlebury, a short one. 
Mick Scott brought down just over the 22 line. It's Stevens. Stevens trying to kick through it. Rebounds badly. And that's a chase away for Dean Bell. He's got Edwards inside him. Edwards. Gill. And pretty high tackle there, but Gill keeps going. It was Mike Taylor who brought him down when it looked all over a try. But there's the penalty now for holding him down at the play of the ball. But I suppose Halifax might well swap two for six because it looked all over a try there. Bell, Edwards and Gill all came away from that charge down kick. But a chance of a penalty goal to David Stevenson. still to settle down properly. <laughs> Pendlebury changing tactics, bang it straight down the middle. Chad Byrne trying to run it out. Kiss is acting half back. Case. Edwards. Again the kick. Edwards kicking well. And again he finds touch. And what an energy saver that is for his forwards. Something like 50 yards gain on the strength of one good raking kick to touch. Stevens, but that didn't go in properly. On, referee holds her straightening out the scrum again, feet up there, but the play on says the referee as he comes out on the Wigan side, Dean Bell. Burn. Kiss on the burst, Gildart. Kiss Gregory Edwards, Gregory again on the run around. Hampson up in a line to Gill. Gregory and Edwards, Potter. And it was living it for the usual acting halfback. Kiss, it's Stevenson's high one, and it'll go dead into the crowd behind the goal. Back to the 22 for a play the ball. Roy Dickinson. Front row forwards. Shaw to drive in the initial wedge. Mick Scott. Stevens again to Scott. Halifax anxious to mount an attack. Pendlebury taking a leaf out of Edwards' book, but not quite as accurately. Hampson slipped. Tony Anderson doing a share of tackling there, two in a row. Gregory the kick. Again, 
No, it doesn't roll this time. It comes inside, so Edie can pick it up. Wilf George is behind him. He was in touch. Wiggins ball, Edwards, good way. Put it out, Edwards again. Bell. Dean Bell going strongly. Tremendous opening this by Wigan. Edwards, Gregory. Halifax, good course to remember Gregory last season, winning the match at uh, Trom Hall. Tremendous solo effort. He's penalised this time. He's arguing with Mr. Holdsworth. Well, Mr. Holdsworth's mime tells it all, but Gregory looks as if he was on the receiving end rather than the delivering end. But... He's going to, now, a little lecture from Mr. Holdsworth on the evils of answering back. <laughs> Ed. Unorthodox, but he gets play in motion. Stevens, Beavers. Wigan tackling very hard, stifling the attack so far, but there's plenty of good football in this Halifax side. Can't imagine they'll be pinned down for 80 minutes. Simpson firing one out to Taylor. Scott, oh, that was one, a good one. John Pendlebury didn't get a good pass there and had to stretch for it. Edwards delayed it for good way. Good way. Hampson's to the right of him. Hampson. Lovely delayed pass by Sean Edwards and a beautifully timed one from Andy Goodway. Wigan 14, Halifax nil. Halifax at the moment wondering what's hit them. Pendlebury. Gildart. Gregory. Case. 
Evening move in Potter Edwards. Beautiful handling, good way. Burn. Gill. Gill still going. Weaving patterns in and out. Lovely handling. Good way. Edwards. Bell. Gregory from Case. Kate. Potter. That's good way. And kiss. Stevenson. Really high testing bomb. Well, luckily for Halifax, picked up by Will George. Well, it may seem that Halifax is taking a long time to get their act together, but Wigan are missing nothing in the tackle. And very little on attack. Pendlebury. That's a nice kick. Excellent kick by John Pendlebury. Well, a foothold for Halifax on the Wigan 22 metre line. Gregory the put in and gets it out. Hampson. Gregory. Well, he, when he throws it out, Chancel it. Still Edwards who's there to pick it up. And a, a fist went in there. Bit of anger among the players. John Pendlebury, who's going to get the lecture. Roy Dickinson being brought over to. Can understand John Pendlebury's frustration, but uh, that's not the way to do it. I think Graham West is getting uh, spoken to for um, some verbals in the middle of that fracas. Plays it west. Good way. Waiting for Gildart, Edwards, Bell. Wigan weaving quite a few patterns. Kiss. Still kiss. Gregory, Edwards, Halifax tackling desperately. Uh, uh, uh. John Pendlebury and Gregory, and I wonder if those two will be allowed to stay on. Pendlebury must be in some danger of leaving the field. That was toe-to-toe, -to -toe, that was. Looks like a sin bin job. Well, the sin bin is back for foul play, and uh, I don't think John Pendlebury can argue. Whatever the provocation, he quite clearly was slugging it out with uh, Gregory toe to toe there, and he'd already had a warning.
That certainly doesn't help Halifax's cause because it's a looks like a penalty to David Stevenson. Fairly simple one, which should make it 16 0. supporters to our left would like something to shout about haven't had a great deal so far and with John Pendlebury cooling his heels and his temper in the sin bin it's Graham Eady Was a short chip, Gregory. Bell's first to it. Gregory. Stevenson. It's Edwards West. Oh, West, a surging run, but a good tackle. Graham Beavers brought him down well. Kiss. Gregory. And this time just missing out on the narrowest of angles. Stevens. Halifax still under pressure. Paul Dixon. Twenty-eight minutes gone. Wigan sixteen, Halifax nil. Beavers. Simpson. It's a kick by Edie. It's a long one. Well, Hampson decided not to catch that on the fall, and it could have put him in trouble, but he has time to pick it up. to play the ball to Gregory well, put too much on that one well can Halifax get possession from this one and mount an attack give their supporters something to shout about Loose arm. So an indirect kick to Halifax. Edie to fine touch. Well, here's a platform for an attack. Chance for the Halifax supporters to get behind their side. Beavers. A score now for Halifax would make this much more of a match it's been something of a procession so far but there's Dickinson Stevens a short one and it's Wigan emerge with possession
Gregory, Case, Gildart. Edwards to Goodway. Goodway shrugging off two tackles. Three and four. That's four tackles. Get the ball out to Bell. Bell to Edwards, to Gill. Oh, what a super tackle by Edie. He won't let him play the ball, but he does now. The attack keeps his momentum with Gregory and a knock on. But what a smashing tackle by Graham Eady. Henderson Gill looked all over a scorer. Taylor. Stevens. Dixon, that's a solid tackle by Goodway, but Dixon gets it out to Scott. Good running. <laughs> right, still Wigan in possession. Bell to Gill. Dean Bell. Another Wigan try. Points to nil, we can lead. <laughs> Stevenson on tremendous kicking form. Starts. We're going to certainly shown almost everything in their showcase this afternoon so far. Oh, look at that one. Graham Meadie had that covered and still couldn't get to it. Beautifully judged by Edwards. by Stevens. Offside.
Mick Scott throws it to Edie. Pendlebury's back from the sin bin. Dickinson. Beavers. Pendlebury to Stevens to Edie. And even though they're 22 points to nil up, Wigan giving nothing away yet. Pendle be trying a weaving run. Can't find a way through. Gildart and Kiss. Stephen Scott. Simpson. Oh, unfortunate error for the young man. He's taking over from Chris Anderson. A big responsibility for a young standoff half. And boomerang on him there. The knock on. Wigan emerge again with Dean Bell, Edwards, Gregory Gildart. Great, Edwards, and the kick. Doesn't find touch this time, but pushes Halifax right back on their own line. Taylor coming cross field. Good way, follows him all the way. George. Oh, good running by Will George. Scott Wilson. Yes, Dickinson acting half back. That's Scott. It's a good burst. Pendlebury, a long one to Dixon. Oh, good running by Dixon. George, keep going, says the referee. James. Neil James going. Well, that's more like it from Halifax. That's given their fans something to shout about. Stevens, the long one to Dixon, and he puts it into touch. Dixon reading the sixth tackle law then. We can have the ball. Hampson looking for Stevenson. Holds it for the second attempt. Edwards. Good way. Waiting for Edwards to get onside. And yet another kick. And another 30 or so metres gain. Getting very close to half time and still Halifax to open their account. Wigan 22 0. Halifax ball. Stevens almost back into the ruck but giving his backs. And running forwards, time to line out. That's Simpson. Trying to slip through. Beavers. Stevens. Pendlebury. Dixon. And Byrne was the man who tackled him there. Pendlebury. 
That's a good burst by Edie. Now Halifax in full dry with Stevens, Pendlebury, Scott, Stevens, Dickinson, Halifax moving it out, Beavers to Edie, Simpson, on lost possession, unfortunate. That was a nice attack by Halifax right on the stroke of half time, and the Hooter goes with Wigan having produced an excellent exhibition in this first half. They've rather bemused Halifax, hit them very early on with that Edwards kick ahead you, and try, and they lead 22-0. The man of the match award this afternoon is the Jack Friend. <laughs> Ready to start the second half. It will be Wigan to kick off, leading by 22 points to nil. Three tries and five goals from the unerring boot of David Stevenson. And uh, the referee, John Hose, is waiting until uh, the fans have got off the pitch. Some of them are staying on the pitch and uh, refusing to move. It may be that John Holsworth will have to request them personally to go off. behind the fencing, referee won't start the game until we put all the spectators behind the safety barriers. Well, referee John Holdsworth going across to try to persuade the fans to get over using sweet reasonableness. I imagine if that doesn't work, the Douglas police may be asked to apply rather sterner sanctions. Compromise appears to be that they can sit down in front of the barrier. Stevenson kicks off. It's Dixon. That's a nice break. Neil James and the kick by Pendlebury that's a good one that carbon copy of the one with which Sean Edwards set up the first Wigan attack nice kick by John Pendlebury he's had a spell in the sin bin and Halifax now back to full strength but trailing 22-0 That's a penalty to Halifax. The Halifax fans and certainly most of the neutrals here today would like to see Halifax get on the scoreboard. It's a match between the Challenge Cup winners and the champions has gone mostly Wigan's way so far, but Edie finds touch. Some 12 or 15 metres away. Stevens and it's Beavers plowing towards the line. Can Halifax produce a try? It would certainly open up this game. Dickinson trying to gain ground, get near the try line. It's Stevens, and he sells a dummy to pass, tries to wriggle few himself. Scott, Pendlebury. James brought down. Stevens, Pendlebury, John Pendlebury almost in, straightened up nicely there. And he was over and couldn't ground. A little unlucky there, John Pendlebury. So we're going to have it on the handover.
Gregory. Well, even Andy Gregory couldn't slip through that eye of a needle. Edwards, Gildart. Gregory asking for the acting halfback position. Bell, Gill. And penalty to Halifax for crossing. Quite oh, forward pass, no. Quite clearly, John Holdsworth both miming and saying that, given a deliberate forward pass as Pendlebury breaks through. Stevens, Beavers on the burst, but West a good tackle. Stevens. Thank you. One, two, one, 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 two. yet again. Penborn interception, Edwards! Well, I can't imagine even someone as fast as Mike Taylor can stop him. An interception just when Halifax were attacking. Sean Edwards, second try. Stevenson on target yet again. And the girls for the weekend, number two, David Stevenson. Halifax <laughs> restart. Anderson Gill. Case. Wigan certainly playing like a side anxious to prove their right to be called champions. Halifax haven't really got into their cup winner's stride yet. Penalty to Halifax. No, yes, it's a play the ball. Not much use in kicking for goal with a deficit of 28 points. Stevens. Beavers is coming on the burst. Stevens chose to sell the dummy and try and slip through. Dickinson. Scott. Stevens, Pendlebury, Wigan certainly tackling everything. What? Oh, that looks like a try. Good try. Stretched over. Graham Beavers. He just stretched through a host of tacklers and planted the ball down. You just saw an arm come out.
and Edie kicks the goal. So Halifax at least are on the score sheet and their fans have something to shout about. Oh dear me. to Wigan now. As on the touchline, Peter Bell, Halifax sub warms up. The kick to touch. Play the ball for Wigan in a dangerous position. They could go looking for their fifth try immediately after that Halifax try. Edwards, Gregory. That's a useful kick of the play. The ball, that looks like a knock-on. Well, Mr. Holdsworth didn't think so. Gildart. Six more. Edwards, West, Edwards, good way. Edwards to West, again to Gildart. Gregory to Edwards, but the tackler was there, it was Pendlebury. Well, that was a gift. Tony Anderson, and he's lost it. Well, a touch judge coming on with his flag to advise Mr. Holdsworth. Scrum down. Peter Bell ready to go on for Mick Scott. The substitution for Wigan is number 14, Richard Russell, replaces number three, Jack Byrne. And Richard Russell for Jed Byrne on the Wigan side. And at number 15 for Halifax, Peter Bell replaces number 12, Hampson. It's Wigan in possession. They lead 28-6. Dummy by Kiss, to Case, to Potter, Potter going strongly to Gill. Gill in the corner. Stevenson hasn't missed a kick yet, but this is the hardest. It's uh, over on the touchline. He had a touchliner in the first half, right-hand touchline, which he landed. Here's one from the left-hand touchline. Should, in theory, favor a right-footed kicker because the ball will tend to curl in. He's already kicked six goals. Yes, yes. That's a beauty. He can't go wrong today.
Mendelbury kicking off. Gildart collects. Wigan have now scored as many points in this match as they did against Hulkingston Rovers in the first charity shield. Good way. was quick to call for medical treatment. And the uh, rain just beginning to fall here at the Douglas Bowl. Scott Wilson, man who's hurt. Scott Wilson taking his place in the line. Brian Juliff was ready to come on for him. West looking to get the ball out. Smothered. Edwards on the burst. Good way. Russell. Stevenson quickly to Edwards, to Gregory, to Kiss. Bell waiting for it to Gill. Inside. Out it comes. West picks it up. Bell. Wigan keeping it moving. It's Sean Wayne who kicks ahead. And it's Edie. George. Pendlebury. Oh, it's good running this. Dickinson. Good handling by Halifax. Beavers. Pendlebury. Dixon, no penalty selling a dummy. To Brian Juliff, Dickinson. Edie not able to grasp it, has to go back for it. George. Lively stuff from Halifax. They trail 34 6, but they're moving the ball now. Dixon. Juliff to Pendlebraid, rolls it behind him, trying to keep the ball on the move. The high kick by Stevens. <laughs> and it's Taylor. Oh, what a good tackle now. He's still on his feet. Hammered into touch at the corner flag. There's still some uh, argument buzzing around as the man who got the Halifax try, but my vote would be Paul Dixon. He was, certainly was the man who emerged from the ruck. Penalty to Wigan. Uh, 
Hampson, the man with the ball. Wigan inside their own half, but riding comfortably on a 34 points to six lead. Uh, two two balls on the field at the moment. Case. There's four or five men forming a reception committee for Brian Case. Wayne. Kiss, good way, Edwards, the long one, Russell, Stevenson, good kick ahead, almost obstructed but keeps going, nicely fielded. Stevens, the man, and got it and was promptly sat on. Simpson almost slipping through, took the ball from Bell, but not quite. Pendlebury. Oh, that's thundering tackle, and it. Uh, Beavers felt that as he went down. Pendlebury the kick. Stevenson in position to take it. Russell to Gregory. On the halfway line. Edward is acting half back. Wayne lost the ball. And the two Halifax players were so anxious to get Wayne down, they didn't realize the ball was lying on the ground behind them. It's come down. Looks like Halifax ball if they can get it out, but that scrum's going to collapse, I think. No, Mr. Hosworth has seen someone on the ball. If they can get up from underneath that tangle of bodies, it's Stevenson, Anderson, Edie. Anderson, out to Pendlebury, looking for someone to pass the ball to, but... Cherry and white jersey is getting in the way. Scrum down. And a Wigan player stays down. So timeout for injury. Simpson comes off. Jack of all trades. Ryan Juliff goes on. George. We was lost possession, but it's recovered. Dixon. Stevens to Pendlebury, waiting for Juliff. And uh, Juliff lost possession, it's good way. Wayne, Sean Wayne, Steve Hampson. 
wriggling away from the tackles. Gill Edwards, Gill again. On the burst for it. Very strong. Stevenson has come into the middle. And he knocked on. Inside the Halifax half, where they spent quite a lot of this game and put it to good account. Five tries and seven goals. Halifax have possession. Edie tackled by his opposite number, Hampson, Pendlebury. Dickinson brought down, contesting that ball with a kiss. Pendlebury. Trying to get Julie free. Both these sides have given everything to this game. A competitive match rather than a workout, but it's gone mostly Wigan's way. Stevens, Dixon, Tulif, Bell. Tulif again. Anderson to E.D. Well, E.D. whacking that into touch. And uh, here we see the workings of a new, a new rule. Because the ball was kicked on the full into touch, the handover takes place. This year, if at the end of six tackles, the ball is kicked on a full into touch or knocked on or there's a forward pass. It won't be a scrum, it will be a handover. Which does away, of course, with uh, players, perish the thought, doing that as a form of gamesmanship. Potter, Edwards, good way, I got, got the ball and a tackler. And instantly, that's an injury. Steve Hampson very quickly drew the attention of the referee to the fact. Certainly in no way has this been a dirty game. It's been played in a good spirit. A lot of hard knocks given and taken. Paul Dixon, the man who was hurt, he's up. Grins at Nicky Kiss. <laughs> oh, dear. Boy Dickinson losing possession. Gregory, the dummy. And he dropped the ball. Halifax will have it. Dickinson making amends. Stevens. Bell. Looking for someone to give it to. Edie. And a penalty. Edie finds touch. Well, the prospects of Halifax winning this game have evaporated, but they can certainly give their supporters something to remember with another try. Stevens Dickinson. Beavers all on one, ready to go. Beavers. Strong young forward. Stevens. 
Oh, going through himself. Pendlebury, oh, he dropped it. That had try written all over it. Stevens had made the initial break, but high pass and Pendlebury knocked it on. It's Edwards following that kick. George, play on, says the referee. Oops, why word, that might have been another interception. It's Taylor. Running well. That bounced off a Wigan player to Stevenson. Plays it to himself. Dean Bell is acting half by Gregory. Floats the long one out to Russell. Hampson to Gregory. Gregory. Wayne to West. Wigan still looking hungry for more tries. They've scored seven. Edwards. And Wilf, oh dear, Wilf George looked as if he'd got that. It's come down around the 22 meter line. Not the best of places to knock on. Andy Gregory feeds. We're going to have it. Gregory to Edwards, to Russell, Hampson. Gill, Bell. Gill again. Right. <laughs> Slips and has time to recover. <laughs> Weaving his own peculiar pattern, Henderson Gill. This won't be tackled. Edwards, good way. Russell. Edwards, Gregory, Hampson, Gill, lovely passing. Dean Bell. That's his second. Lovely passing by Wigan. Stevenson keep up his 100% record in kicks. to ask Wigan 38 Halifax 6 
Seven goals and six tries against the try and a goal for Halifax. Edwards and knock on rule by John Holsworth. Stevens and Mr. Hosworth doesn't like that. <coughs> Stevens to Pendlebury to ED. Tony Anderson. Halifax still full of life, full of fight, even though they trail 38-6. Dickinson. Bell. Dixon. Pendlebury slipping it out beautifully to Julif. Oh, good running by Brian Julif. A lovely try. Beautifully made by Pendlebury. Drew in the defence. A short ball to Julif. And Julif finished it off. System announcing that the Jack Bentley Award of the Rugby League Writers Association in memory of a former Daily Express writer goes to Sean Edwards. Wiggins' kick goes into touch, bounces though, and that's a good one. Stop. Touch judge running on to help out. And the scrum form, so neither front row getting the blame. Six to one and a half a dozen of the other. But still the ball doesn't emerge. And 
is Gregory going round the blind side to Hampson, and Hampson's in. And while Hampson touches down for try number seven to Wigan, Graham Beavers is spoken to by referee John Holdsworth. seen nine tries, seven from Wigan, two from Halifax. So this crowd at the Douglas Bowl had a feast of rugby. Stevenson. And the youngster for Wigan, number two, David Stevenson. Steve Hampson also helps himself to a brace of tries. Well now, Mike Taylor. Couldn't pick it up. have run uh, Edwards close to a man of the match. Money win have all played well. They've really looked like a side to watch again, justified as favourites in the Stones Bitter Championship. But I imagine we've not heard the last of Halifax. What a lovely kick. There's Bell going for it. Brought down by Edie. And made dead by Taylor. Gregory right on the hooter knocks on a lively match an entertaining game perhaps just a little more one-sided than we might have wished but Halifax giving their all against a Wigan side in rampant form 44 points to 12 the scoring going like this Edwards kicking head Stevenson goal, that was 6-0. Stevenson a penalty, that was 8-0. Steve Hampson's first try and a Stevenson goal. John Pendlebury spent 10 minutes in the sin bin. And then Stevenson landed a goal from that. Dean Bell made it 20-0. Stevenson's goal, 22. And that was the score at half-time. In the second half, second try for Sean Edwards and the inevitable goal from Stevenson. And then a blue and white arm stretched over the line certainly looked like Paul Dixon. Edie's goal made it 28-6. Henderson Gill got to try to make it 32. Stevenson the goals. Dean Bell his second. For once in a while, Stevenson missed. Brian Julie for such got a lovely try for Halifax from a pass by Pendlebury. Edie kicked the goal. And the last try for Wigan from Steve Hampson. Stevenson kicked the goal. 44 points to 12. But the good-humoured atmosphere remains as the Oakells Brewery Trophy and medals are about to be presented. It's been a splendid game, thoroughly entertaining for a big and good-humoured crowd here today. Wigan, for the second time in three years, take the trophy. Thank you. 
has a habit of picking up and holding trophies aloft as the first one of the new season. And almost hidden in the crowd to the right and disappearing now, Graham Lowe, the mastermind of Wigan's victory, the coach.